what is going on everybody, Spiker Zenith here. Today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial slash hardware review, if you will, of an Xbox One controller. Uh, basically I'm going to use this with my PC. Now in the past it was more economical to just buy an Xbox 360 wired controller, uh, plug that in and use it, and I actually have used one in the past. This is a uh, generic GameStop controller, I don't know if you can see on the back there, it's a GameStop controller, and this is what I used forever. Now the problem with this controller is it's a very old controller, I can't even tell you how many years old this thing is, and the L button is an issue. Now games like Dark Souls, and uh, there's a few other games like maybe a flight sim, you might want to use a controller with, uh, maybe Rocket League, uh, but in addition to just having you know this controller lying around, I do have an Xbox One, so I'm going to show you how to hook this up to your PC. Now the only thing you're going to need is a USB, uh, basically it's an Android charging cable is what I'm using. Uh, this is the USB uh, mini connection on the end there, and that's what you're going to use to plug the controller in. Now on the top of the controller, to get this set up, you need to have it fully charged, have your batteries in there, and you may want to unplug your Xbox One because this is going to turn it on, and that may or may not be an annoyance to you. So you go ahead and uh, we're going to turn the controller on first. There it goes, blinking its little light. We're going to plug the cable into the top of it there, and then we're going to take the cable, this guy here, plug it into a USB 2.0 or 1.0 port. 3.0 might work, uh, but you never know. 3.0 is a little finicky with some devices. So we're going to plug that into the PC and take you to the PC. So let's go ahead and uh, check and make sure it is connected. I did hear the familiar uh, ding sound to let me know that I plugged in a device. Let's go into my PC or this PC. We're going to right click on that, go to properties, go to device manager. Or you can type in device manager down here. I'm running Windows 10, so I'm going to see that. Uh, we have devices and printers here. We will need to go to that, but not quite yet. So let's type in manager, and device manager will pop up right there. Uh, click on that, it'll pop this up as well. Or you can right click on the computer icon, go to properties, select device manager, and there it is. Uh, we're going to look under human interface devices here. And it'll show up down here at the very bottom as an X input compatible HID device. What that means is an Xbox controller, and it's a human interface device. That's what it means. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, close that out. Close all this out. The only other thing we need to check is our uh, control panel under devices. So we're going to type that in here, devices and printers. Click that. Or you can go into control panel and find it that way. It's going to take a minute to detect everything, so give it a second to do it. All right, now that this is loaded up, you can see that it did detect a controller. So we're going to go ahead and right click on that, game controller settings. Look at right here, controller Xbox One for Windows, and it did detect it. It says OK. Uh, just to make sure it is working, we're going to hit advanced here. Uh, make sure that shows up. Good. Hit properties. And you can actually uh, move the joystick around. And it's going to show you the different axes. The Z axis is the uh, left trigger. Z rotation is the right trigger. Uh, the X and Y would be the right joystick. And the, uh, the view on the left-hand side is going to be the left joystick. Uh, all the buttons obviously work. The hat is going to be the D-pad. Uh, so you've got all this. Your uh, L3 and R3 buttons are going to be 9 and 10. Uh, your... A button is going to be 1, then you're going to go to your X, which is 3, then right across from that to the B, that's 2, and then Y is going to be 4. And then you've got your other buttons here, such as the menu button, which is going to show up as number 8. Uh, and then you have your uh, your little uh, share button there, picture-in-picture picture button kind of thing there, that Sue's on the console. Uh, so all the buttons are mapped out here. I mean, you're not missing out on anything at all. And I hope this was helpful to everyone. Uh, if you like what you would seen here, give me a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode.